All right, I'm gonna go over the motor itself that I chose for this build, and I'm gonna go over the ESCs, and I'm gonna go over the weight of each of them. So you guys are who are interested in uh, doing the 250 builds will have an idea of what to expect. All right, ESCs. I went with the um, Emacs Simon series, which is the uh, Simon K. Uh, 12 amps. Uh, I didn't go with a 10 amp. I didn't go with lower because I want to be able to have a little bit of a, a little bit of power if I need it. And with the reviews I've seen out here with these uh, Emacs Simon Ks, they're very, very good. Oh, uh -huh. Very, very light. Like I said, they're a 12 amp. So they burst at 15 amps, so it's really good. And let's go ahead and weigh this guy up. Okay, we're at zero grams. Let's go ahead and pop it in there. 10 grams. All right, let's see what the package says. If it says it was less or was more. Okay. All right, just needed my glasses. They're two to three cell. I've seen people use four cells on these. Um, I wouldn't go crazy. I think with three cell would be, would be great. Um, well, uh, there says about nine grams. Actually, it's 10. I mean, I'll weigh a couple of different ones out, but no matter how you look at it, it's 10 gram, and this thing is pretty precise. All right. And let me see here, and they have a back of one amp, five volts. And yes, they're programmable, which I have the programming case for it. So these are Simon series. This is how the package comes out. This is the for the Emacs. Pretty nice, pretty straightforward, anti-static case. All right, motors. Here's the motors for the Emacs. And these are the, let me open one up. These are like really nice retail cases for these little motors. I do like that these motors bring little Allen key and three sizes. Yep, that's correct. Three sizes of screws. Has the extra long screws for the, the thick legs, has the medium screws, and has the very small screws. Make sure you use the right one so you don't jam up your motor. And here's the motor itself. Yes, tiny, very tiny. You can feel the bearings in here, they're pretty good. Uh, you have, they come two clockwise and two counterclockwise. So it's pretty good. You don't have to worry about these props uh, spinning off. Just make sure when you're installing them that when you go with your, um, in my case, I'm using the CC3D and CC3D here. Let me bring my little guy over here. There you go. CC3D, it's one, two, three, four. And I think it's clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, but I'll double check. So just make sure that um, I forgot which is which. I think the reds are counterclockwise. Let me see. So it spins this way. It'll loosen up, spins this way, it'll tighten. Okay, so the red ones are counterclockwise and the black ones are clockwise. So make sure that um, you put them in the right uh, order or you're gonna be flying and your screws are gonna fly off. All right, these are the Emacs MT-1806, 2280 kV. So it's not a 2300, it's not a 2200, it's right in between. So it has thrust, um, I think about 490 grams of thrust, if I'm correct. Let's see if it says it back here. And for those of you that don't know, the MT just means the metal. They have also plastic series. The plastic ones are about half the performance, so. All right, these are, like I said, 20, 2280. Their, their diameter is a 23 millimeter. Number of cells, two to three. I've seen people try to use four. And yes, 460 grams. And it says it weighs 18 grams. All right, so this one is kind of clockwise. All right, let's weigh it. Okay, we're at zero. 20, an advertised weight is 18. All right, so, so far we've been seeing, oh, 19. So far we've seen about a gram off, which is not bad. I mean, I'm not gonna cry for one more gram, but not bad at all. Nice little motor, good size. Um, obviously, we need to do soldering direct. Um, since these 250s are so small, what most people do is they peel back on the, um, on the heat trick here, and they would solder the motors directly to the ESC. Uh, some will cut the wires and solder wires. Uh, some people are not comfortable with soldering wires. Um, it's really up to you. I mean, the spacing you have on this is very, very small for the 250s. So as you can see, you have a lot of extra cables. They're a good size. Um, there's a lot of extra 
uh, heat shrink on this thing so you can cut it back to be a little slimmer. It fits, I mean, right there. Like I said, the soldering would be motored directly to the, uh, to the ESC. And so far, so good. I mounted one motor on here just to kind of get the feel of it. I want to make sure I fit in my case too. And I use the medium screws. Now on my board, I have holes for four small and four large. In the case of these motors, the screw sets are too large, too small. So you can't really use all four screws unless your board is designed to take all four. Um, as you can see, you're either going to use the two large screws or the two small. It's your choice. I usually go with the smaller ones, uh, the shorter ones on the inside. Um, but that's just me. Some people prefer using the two outside ones. It's up to you. As long as you use Loctite, you shouldn't have a problem with these motors. And, and that's it. That's what I have so far. I'm waiting on the controller board, which is my CC3D. I should be getting that next week. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure out these motors, uh, see how much I got to cut back from these cables. And then when I have everything, I'm going to do my build. So I'm going to strip down one of these, kind of see what's... All right, here's what it looks like. Here's the um, uh, the Simon Series Emacs with the heat sink, I mean the um, heat wrap and the shrink wrap. And here is the um, when I took it off. There's only about one gram, doesn't make a difference in weight, but since I'm gonna solder the motors directly to the board, I wanted you to show you what it looks like here. So also how the heat gets dissipated so based on this here's the chips and at the bottom we have a larger chip and here's the capacitor itself this is the order of the motors when facing forward with the um, CC3D board from OpenPilot so since this will be the front of mine number one will be this one and it will be going clockwise number two counterclockwise number three clockwise Number four, counterclockwise. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw my motors in based on this, making sure that it's the proper motor in the right spot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab these motors and put them in here based on the proper order. Got the other three motors in based on the same order. Just wanna let you know how I'm doing it. This will be the front. Um, I have the motors in place based on clockwise or counterclockwise. And what I'm doing from now, save myself some time Shifting is I'm running the cables already down to the bottom where my ESC is going to be. And it lines up the screws perfectly. So what I'm doing here is pushing the cables right through. Lands right in place. Turn it around. Grab, and like I said, for this board in particular, which is, um, I think it's two millimeters here and three millimeters here, or this is one and this is two. One of those, I forgot where, what this one is for this, um, I said it on my previous video. Wow, those little bags are sealed good. <laughs> In the case of this board, I'm using the, if they ever come out, man, the medium screws. I have the large, medium, and the small, with three sets. So I'm using two of the medium. Okay, and um, the little boxes that these motor comes in is great for saving extra screws for later on. So definitely keep those little boxes around. It's worth it. Okay, now I get my uh, fill in here. Simply flip it, upper left notch. Lines up with the hole. Screw it in just a little bit. Give it enough play. So then this one will line up. Okay. Then when it lines up, you don't tighten it. Just go a little bit on this one. A little bit on this one. A little bit on this one. Shake it a little bit. Make sure it's not... Nothing's uh, it's just nice and flush. Then slowly tighten this one and this one and this one again just kind of go back and forth to get a nice snug fit now all right there goes my motors now my cables that i'm going to cut down and solder with my escs 
later on. And boom, there we go. Now this is the front of my board based on this diagram of the CC3D. This one will spin clockwise. And if I go ahead and I hold the prop down, it does not unscrew. This one will spin counterclockwise. If I hold my thread down, it doesn't unscrew. Now if I hold it down and I go clockwise, it loosens up. See? So regardless, this is in the right order. Now once you uh, plug it into your ESCs and you fire it up, if the order for some reason is in the opposite direction, just flip any of any two wires. So for instance, solder them in, you know, clean but not 100%, you know, just enough to fire it up. And if you see it spinning in the wrong direction, then invert any two cables and do it again and then it'll go opposite and that's it. Because as long as it goes in the direction it's supposed to be, is designed for, you won't have any problem with the props.